Wait for it. <laughs> Got my locks all locked up freshly tonight. <laughs> I got a funny bone. I have a funny bone. I do. Maybe it was that peach mambo. Tune in next month when I'll have all kind of rave reviews from books I've read. People I've met on the street selling their books and wares. Ah, vagina monologues. I'm going to talk about it all. <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Denise D. Cooper and I have a booktube channel and I love to talk about books and meet writers and authors and aren't they the same thing or are they? Is a literary read the same as a romance novel? Urban fiction? I need to do that. Okay. Romance novel? Urban fiction? Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Hey guys, this is Denise Cooper and I'm back home. I had a great night tonight. We saw the vagina monologues. Ah, it was amazing. It literally made me cry, laugh, get the chills, cringe, <laughs> some of everything. It was, it was amazing. If you get a chance to see the vagina monologues in your city, um, it definitely won't be the same class that um, I saw tonight, but this is a Texas class, um, Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth also, um, so I'm not sure where everyone was from, but it was really good. And our girl that we met through the Candid series was in it, and that's the reason why I went tonight. Finally got to see the vagina monologues, right? Gave me a good reason to name my J. <laughs> Never thought about that, but the way they they put it in this theater piece really makes you be proud to be a woman, makes you want to stand up for women's rights, to own your feminism. It was amazing, and it's gonna come back next year. They do it every year. I'll be there. Hope to see you there too. <laughs> Have you ever? <laughs> Just fed a little kooky. Yeah. I bought a book tonight. <laughs> right before the show, there's this man standing out in the street. Amazing guy, right? <sighs> I couldn't I couldn't wait. I can't wait, rather, to read this book. This is him right here. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> How cool is that? A Coach's Nightmare. And this is written by Mr. Frank Grover Jr. at www.frankgroverjr.com. And I had a great time meeting him, talking to him, Instagramming and taking pics and making videos and selling his book. His personality was contagious and I just loved it and I can't wait to read the book <laughs> it's awesome a coach's nightmare and the artwork is wonderful and you guys know I love artwork on a book yeah it's really cool Frank Grover Jr. wanted wanted hmm got that playground looking and the American flag let me read the synopsis to you I read it um, while we were at dinner having, at his suggestion, at, suggestion rather, at a place that, um, I can't think of it right now, but it was right where he was selling his books. And it says, having grown, grown up as a little leaguer, devoted baseball enthusiast Frank Grover thinks he's been given the perfect opportunity when his two friends suggest that he put his name in 
to manage the youth major giants. After a whimsical encounter with a lovely baseball mom, Lisa Jackson, things begin to spiral out of control and maintaining a perfect reputation as a coach coach becomes intertwined with a spontaneous love affair. Mm -hmm. Now, Lisa's 12-year-old son, Ben, looks up to Frank as his coach and bef befriends him as he learns to master the art of pitching. With the exception of the new relationship being built, conflict erupts as Frank ex um, ends up caught in the wrath of Lisa's jealous ex-boyfriend. Oh, drama's coming. The revengeful Ashley Mella. In spite of never having met Frank in person, okay, just some hearsay stuff, <laughs> the relentless Ashley intends to ruin his reputation by doing the unthinkable. Check that out, you guys. Something's going on. Yeah, me and Dana, my friend that we I went um, to see the vagina monolo monologues with, her daughter was in the play, Danielle. And uh, I'm telling you, we were like, oh, intrigue. We were trying to guess what the synopsis was. We were trying to figure out what it was before we read it. And then when I read it, we were like, oh, we're trying to figure out what it's all about and what happened. What was the unnamed thing? Yeah, this is going to be good, you guys. And I can't wait to read it and talk to you guys about it. And I hope you go pick it up and read it along with me. Again, it's at www.frankgroverjr.com. And he's also on Amazon. And the book is called A Coach's Nightmare. Again, Frank Grover Jr. Okay? And you can follow Frank on Twitter at Frank Grover, Grover Jr. Like his Facebook page. And contact him at frankgroverjr at gmail.com. I got a new I had a great time tonight. That was awesome. I'll tell you more about it a little bit later. I hope you had a great weekend too.